back to my channel today and we are doing a brand new sims 3 speed build and so today we are back once again in the wonderful world of sunset valley and to be honest if you haven't noticed i have been posting sims 3 videos quite recently and it's been a pure delight where i've been uploading my current household videos my creative sims my speed builds more frequently and it's been great and if you don't remember, I did post a speed build and a creation video a couple of days ago where I kind of explained Rosa Kern, her house, her backstory and everything, and the whole idea of what I want to do in this game that I can play now with no issues. And that is a proper story-based family legacy let's play in The Sims 3 in Sunset Valley. And I'm still not done with like all the things that I want to do, but trust me, it is happening. It, it's gonna, it's gonna happen where... In the past, I have done Let's Plays where I've only done like maybe one or two parts or five and then I completely just took it out of my whole schedule and never did it ever again. But I think now that I'm graduated from university, I work for myself and I can figure out things the way that work best for me. I can make a proper Let's Play that I think you all will definitely enjoy. And The Sims 3 is something I've been enjoying the most and I think it'll show across in my videos and through my voice too. So very excited about this so definitely check out the videos that I've done in the past from the two previous Sims 3 videos to get more of an understanding of Rosa Kern and her backstory and so the only thing I technically have to do for the save file that I'm building right now is the houseboat boathouse whatever it's called for Rosa's grandparents and also build a small little starter family two bedroom maybe three bedroom home for Rosa's parents and her little sister just because I thought it'd be kind of a uh, important to bring in the family into the mix to kind of have that generational feel and lineage of what's been going on and especially because like for me as a storyteller, I wanted to be able to kind of expand on Rose's story than just have her being a plain old sim with no backstory, no family, no nothing. And that's just like not me. So being able to have that extended family to go to, to hang out with and learn from is what makes me me and what makes my Let's Plays more exciting for me to do. So for this house, actually, it's not really for any of the Sims involved. It was just a starter house that I found in the Sims 3 of Sunset Valley, the one that we all know and love and started with. Like you all know that one starter home in that small little rink a dink neighborhood. It had that weird green wallpaper on the outside, a stone little um, panel, no, pillar thing and then it had like this weird awkward shape of a kitchen and living room with no tv like that house in that general area that house i completely demolished it and built a brand new house however it is not a starter home it is over like i think 30 maybe 40 maybe more than that simoleons however it's it's a quite decent sized home I believe in the end, it's actually only a one bedroom, one bathroom home with the kitchen and living room and dining room all open planned. And then there's a laundry room and then there's like a little entrance area as well. The whole idea for this house is that I actually put in a custom world or a custom campus that you can actually download. If you have the Sims 3 University Life, there's people out there on Mod The Sims and other websites where they have made mods using NROS where you could have a college campus on your like home town city, whatever it's called. And it's literally the perfect thing in the world to have because with The Sims 3 for me, for, the, for university, I didn't like having to go through a whole loading screen and then be stuck at the university campus and not visit my family. Well, like that stuff I did not like a lot growing up with playing The Sims 3 University. So I thought, why not add a college campus in Sunset Valley where my Sims could go to college in their hometown and still live at home or move out and live in like a different house or apartment or whatever that I build later on in their life. Or maybe I just, you know, eventually have them move out completely of the Sunset Valley lifestyle and live somewhere else. I don't know. But I think that is kind of a good idea to be able to have all these different like avenues of venues to go to while still living in the same area. But eventually I might end up be moving Rosa to a different world if I tend to like feel like I grow out of Sunset Valley because it is a base game only world that came with the sims 3 and it's not a lot you can do the world's not as big but i think it's like the right 
starter world for me to rediscover The Sims 3 for what it was from 2009 in the year 2021. So like I said, it is going to be um, an exciting, relaxed, chill, let's play with some crazy, crazy here and there because I do eventually want to have, have Rosa have friends, maybe a secret lover from her past that came from the city to Sunset Valley. I, I don't really know. I, I just have all these ideas in my head that I want to do that I don't really know how they're going to play out. We're just going to hope for the best, but I do want to be able to stick to like the whole idea of legacy, family, and rediscovering The Sims 3. So like the, the few packs that I definitely want to dive deep with Rosa is World Adventures, Generations, Seasons, Ambitions. I'm not entirely sure what career I want to have her in. I don't remember if I said in the speed build or the creative video, but I do want to have her be in some type of career or profession or work for herself and have her travel because I do want to go to China and have her learn martial arts and be able to go to like France and have her go there. No. Yeah. There's Egypt, Paris. Egypt, China, and France. Yeah, I think those are the three ones that we have in The Sims 3 World Adventures. I'm pretty sure. I want to go through all three of them. And then I think I might install Monte Vista or something and have that be another vacation world they can go to and like travel to and see where like these things lead off. I'm going to try and find a mod where I can travel to different worlds without having to move there because I do want to have a sense of expansion with the Sims let's play that I'm going to do and have Rosa have all the experience and travel and photos for, for herself, but also for her kids later down the line. Like I can see Rosa already being that good old grandma and living her life like it's golden, literally like it's 1985 golden and see where her life leads off because if you don't remember the sims 3 generations trailer that the sims released so long ago i just remember it was like these two teens or i think they were kids at the time where they were like best buds and they were the best of the friends and they hung out all of their days where they literally just spent their life together as kids teens got together became boyfriend and girlfriend got married had the kids or got married i think went to college or something well got married had the kids had the house had all the things and like they grew up had anniversaries their kids had weddings their kids had kids they had the grandkids and it was like their life was flashing before their eyes like they're seeing their their yesteryears their younger years and where they are today and it's like a full circle moment of seeing all these different events happening in the sims lives to kind of reminisce reminisce on because there's a video camera in the sims 3 generations that you can actually have and videotape literally anything you wanted and then have it show on the tv for your family members or yourself to like look back at or you know yourself in general as a sim player to look back at all the memories of when your kid took their first walk or they learned how to talk or took a potty for the first time like learn how to drive like I literally cannot wait. I cannot wait until one of like Rosa's kids ends up having, you know, learning how to drive for the first time. Like I'll have maybe the father or whoever, um, best friend, I don't know, like take the child on the first day of driving and just like videotape them driving down the road and videotaping all that. Like my, my baby's first drive on the road. <laughs> I'm just like so excited to see all these different things like generations is like hands down my favorite expansion pack in the sims 3 and I will always and forever adore it no matter what it is because that pack alone sold me for years for the sims and I still love it to this day I still play it here and there but now that I have my new like laptop and it runs really well I'm able to play it constantly with no issues so that being said, I think with Rosa, the way I want to make it work is that she's probably going to not do the daycare career because that's how I usually did a lot of my Sims 3 generations like gameplay for myself is I have my Sim join the daycare career, but I feel like off the bat, that'd be kind of too overwhelming for me. So I want to be able to start off with maybe a profession 
and then kind of kind of go back and forth, do all these different careers, like kind of jack of all trades to see where things like hand off and everything and kind of, you know, play it by ear, do some online dating, maybe travel a little bit before we kind of settle down, go to maybe France first, do some grapes, some whatever thing, find some exotic things we can bring back to Sunset Valley, hang with our grandparents, our mom, our dad, our sister, go to the movies. Like, I don't know. Even though some of the stuff is like rabbit holes in The Sims 3 when going to like the grocery store and stuff and the movies, I still like the whole idea of having to go to those things and be able to go to the grocery store, get the lottery ticket. And, you know, probably maybe later down the line, like maybe when Rose is an elder, I think I might have her go to the future. Even though it would make no sense for me to go to the future in like this type of let's play, I can see later down the line of either being having a relative or some random person being able to make an invention saying we're so many years into, into the future, like 16 years or whatever. And one of the kids discover how to do time travel as like a science project. We could have them test it out and go to the future and see what our quote unquote future will be like, whether it's going to be good or bad. And look at all these different things and like travel back in time to see where our life ends ends off. Like I want to like experience all those different things. I want to do some type of like next video of discovering different things that I didn't know about The Sims 2, Sims 3, Sims 4. I've I learned a few things actually. I forgot like so like yesterday on stream on Twitch that someone told me if you have snowy escape. If you will have your sim take a mindful walk, you can actually readjust or like, like change their mood right then and there. If you have snowy escape, I did not know that you click on a sim mindful walk, click the sim again. There's like an, a tab of synergy energy or whatever. And you click it. There's all these like different emotions there's moods. And I'm like, I can have this. I can do this all the time when my sims are like grumpier or sad or whatever. I can change their mood. Take a mindful walk. Go go walk it off. Go do what you got to do and do all that stuff. But enough about The Sims 4. Today's Sims 3 day. If you have any ideas on what I could do for my Sims 3, like let's play to make it more exciting. I don't want to download any like too, too crazy mods because I don't want to be able to make my game mod crazy unless I kind of want to. I do have some ideas like Aurora Sims is a Sims 3 or just a Sims YouTuber actually, but she makes a lot of Sims 3 videos and I watch her all the time and being able to see like what her game looks like and what she does and like what mods she downloads, especially for our toddlers, like absolutely top tier. And, like, and then Kawisi, she's another like Sims 3 like, YouTuber and she streams on Twitch. Like I love looking at Sims 3 like videos a lot for like inspirations, like either from my houses that I could probably like add in or I could involve a new mod. Like there's toddler mods, there's baby mods, there's poses, custom content. I actually have to merge my custom content too as well. And my friend Nixel, Nicole, she has a Sims 3 Alepacy challenge going on on her channel. And I'm like, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. All of the good old days of The Sims 3 is finally coming back. And I think I might watch my friend Christina Life Simmer's old Sims 3 generation videos for nostalgia. Because let me tell you, I have talked about her videos in the past two Sims 3 videos I've done already. I can't stop because her videos were literally my childhood, even though I was older than her. And I was literally in my teens at the time. And so she, so was she. So I'm like, in a way, I was still a child and her videos were my childhood and I will love her videos until the end of time. So literally the Fendersons were my family. I love that family. Top tier family, not gonna lie. But overall, like I said, this house is just a starter home. I might involve a Sim, like a future Sim that might be someone's from Rose's past, like maybe a friend or a best friend from high school. I'm not entirely sure where that's going to lead off for this house. At first it was going to be like a single parent home. And I think I involved a high chair or some type of like toddler toys somewhere in the mix. But I think I took it out later on in the video. But I think that 
it'd be kind of a fun way to involve some of Rose's friends from high school and kind of put them in, into this house as single, 30, 30 but flirty type of like family or a sim. Like I've been watching the nanny, so I think that'd be kind of a funny thing, you know, have it like, well, I don't know, a friend here from high school be in this house and live here for a while until they move or whatever and do that. Because ultimately I think it'd be kind of a, a good way to increase the chances of, I don't know, generations and family gameplay and excitement and storytelling for, for me mainly and hopefully for you too. But I think the way I want to do this is that I want to see where this leads off. So I might involve a sim here. I may or may not, but you never know. But if you want to download this build for yourself, I will leave a link down below in the description to a to the tray files, but also to the Sims 3 pack file. So you can download for yourself for your own Sims 3 game. If you play the Sims 3 or you've just been curious, you want to play it for yourself. Here's a lovely home that you can like, play in for yourself. And yeah, I hope you guys definitely enjoyed today's speed build as much as I did. Please let me know down in the comments below as always. And what do you thought? And I will see you guys all in the next video. Bye.